G'day guys. Uh, today we're going to look at uh, two-way tables and Venn diagrams. So remember when we looked at when we uh, had our uh, intro to probability yesterday, I spoke about how counting was one of the biggest problems when it comes to probability. Venn diagrams and two-way tables are a way for us uh, to uh, sort of record or display uh, information uh, so that it's easy for us to count the numbers of different uh, outcomes, if you like. So I'm going to look at uh, uh, an example. They're both different ways of talking about similar kinds of problems. So I'm going to look at one example uh, and then display our information as a uh, Venn diagram and then, and then display the same information as a two-way table. Okay? And then look at some probability applications from it. So uh, the example I'm going to pick on says that let's say that we, we survey 30 people And we find that 21 of them uh, like uh, pizza, and 12 uh, like state uh, like uh, uh, burgers. So. You can tell that Mr. Obeid's hungry because the examples are about food, right? Um, and there are seven who like both. Uh, and there are four who like neither. So 30 people all together. 21 of them, we went up to all 30 and we said, do you like pizza? 21 of those people said, yes, I like pizza. Then we said to them, do you like burgers? 12 of those people said, yes, I like burgers. Uh, and we went up to them and we said, well, do you like uh, uh, both? And seven people said, yes, I like both pizza and burgers. Uh, and then four of them said, well, I don't like any of those. I don't like pizza or burgers. Okay. Um, I can't explain those four people. They exist. There you go. What are you going to do? Right? So what we're going to do, our problem is to display this information in both a, uh, a Venn diagram and a two-way table. Okay. So if we're going to talk about a Venn diagram, A Venn diagram happens within a rectangle. The whole rectangle is our entire sample space. So somehow all 30 people have to be accounted for in this sample space over here. Okay. Now we've got some people who are into pizza and some people who are into burgers. And we've got to basically sort of position people here now. So we know that there are seven people who like both. Right? So our Venn diagram, these are all the pizza likers. Everyone in this circle likes pizza. Everyone in this circle likes burgers. There are seven people who like both. So those seven, they go in there, in the little intersection between the two. So these seven people like both. Now, 21 people like pizza. Now, if you like pizza and burgers, you still like pizza. Okay, so um, so in, inside this circle, this circle needs to add up to a total of twenty-one people. But there's already seven of those people here. So how many of the twenty-one are in this part of the circle here? Well, if the numbers got out of the twenty-one and there's seven here, there's fourteen over here. Now, same deal for burgers. There are 12 people who like burgers, and seven of them are here. Well, if there are 12 people all together and seven are there, well, then over here, in this part of the circle, there are five people. Well, there are four people who don't like either, so they can't go inside the circle. 
So those four people, uh, inside any circle rather, so those four people are outside the circles but within the sample space as well. And here they are. Now, what do all these numbers add up to? 14 plus 7 is 21, plus 5 is 26, plus 4 is 30. We've got all of the people all there together. Okay. Now, I'm going to, uh, uh, now I'm just going to rub off this side of the board. So, you know, get it down so you can see how those go together. I'm going to rub this uh, side of the board off and we're going to, uh, represent this data, the same data again, but this time in a two-way table. So two different ways representing the same kind of data. Okay. So this is my uh, so 21 pizza likers, 12 burger likers, 7 both, and 4 neither. Just putting that down for my records because, you know, my head's going to probably forget. So what we're going to do now, we're going to display this data in a, in a two-way table. So a two-way table uh, talks about those people who like pizza or who do not like pizza. Those people who like burgers and those people who do not like burgers. Okay, so how many people like both pizza and burgers? Pizza and burgers, there were seven people who like both like pizza and like burgers. There are seven people. How many people did not like either pizza or burgers? No pizza, no burgers. Well, that was four. So no pizza, no burgers. That was four people. How many people liked pizza but didn't like burgers? Well, these 14 people here, they liked pizza but they didn't like burgers. So they liked pizza but do not like burgers is 14. Okay. Like burgers but do not like pizza? You like burgers but you did not like pizza. Well, that was 14. That was five, right? And now all we need to do is just add up our rows. So people who like burgers is seven and five. was 12 people. Well, that agrees with what we, uh, what we originally said. There were 12 people who liked burgers. Uh, people who liked pizza... Well, 7 and 14 people, that was 21 people. You like them both? Okay. Uh, people who did not like pizza at all, well, they add up to 9. Now, where, where's that number 9 over here? Well, if you do not like pizza, you're outside of this circle. The outside of this circle is that 5 and that 4. That's 9 people. Uh, over here, do not like burgers at all. So if you don't like a burger, you're outside of this circle. So that's those 14 people and those four people. That's 18 people. Now, it doesn't matter how I add up my rows or columns, right? So these people here, they add up to 30. These people here, they add up to 30. I know that I've done my two-way table correctly because I had 30 people in my sample. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do a part two to this video uh, where we actually look at some probabilities that relate to this. So that'll be up you know, momentarily. <laughs>